Many components have curves to represent flow, pressure drops, forces. This is the curve for the pressure relief valve representing the pressure drop as the flow increases. You can edit the model in either CV or KV standard. In the case of pumps, many curves are present for interpolation purposes. Should you want to model another curve, left-click on an existing point and drag it to the desired location. To create points, double-click on the line, then drag the point to the desired location. Actuators have two curves in their component properties window, driving force and resistive force curves. Driving force curves model forces that are present on the actuator regardless whether the actuator moves or not, as in a hydraulic car lift holding a car. To model forces acting against the extension, create your curve in the first quadrant. To model forces helping the extension, create your curve in the fourth quadrant. To model forces helping the retraction, create your curve in the second quadrant. To model forces acting against the retraction, create your curve in the third quadrant. Resistive forces act on the actuator only when the actuator is moving, as in a hydraulic actuator pushing a box along a flat surface. Model a resistive force applied on the actuator when it reaches 50% of extension. Let's see how the simulation represents the modeled resistive forces. Both actuators extend at the same rate until they reach 50% of extension, at which point the second actuator stops and continues once the first one has reached the end and pressure rises enough to extend the second cylinder to the end. Notice the higher pressure reading when the second actuator extends between 50 and 100 percent.